Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of LJ Law, Family Law TV. I am Bonnie Leonardo, your host. Today's topic deals with termination of parental rights. I have received a lot of um, inquiries as to terminating parental rights uh, recently and I believe it stems from the um, COVID-19 and the stay-at-home orders. Uh, parents not making efforts to um, support children, uh, visitation schedules, um, it's been more of a hands-off approach for a lot of parents during this time. And so I have had a few questions about how to terminate parental rights. Before I get started with the topic, I want to remind you that if you um, want to reach out to me and you have any questions whatsoever, please go to vegasdivorcemeeting.com and I'll be more than happy to sit down with you to discuss your situation. So terminating a parent's rights um, is a very serious matter and the courts have referred to it as the civil death penalty. Uh, therefore, the courts take extreme and cautious steps before granting a request to terminate parental rights. Parents' rights are a constitutional right and thus before a court can terminate a person's uh, parental rights, um, a trial must be held if that person, if that parent is challenging that termination. To terminate parental rights, a petitioner must prove by clear and convincing evidence that termination is in the child's best interest and that parent's fault exists. That is what the statute states. So reasons for terminating a parental rights may include abandonment of the child, neglect of the child, that the parent is unfit, uh, that the child will be in danger of physical, emotional, or mental harm if that child is returned to that parent. Um, the parent has made minimal efforts to communicate or support the child. If the child was removed by CPS and the parent has failed to correct the problems for the removal within a reasonable amount of time, uh, CPS can ask the judge to terminate that parent's rights. And if there has been sexual assault, for example, if the child was conceived as a result of a sexual assault and the parent was convicted for sexual assault, then it's possible to terminate that parent's rights. If parental rights are terminated, uh, the parent-child relationship will cease to legally exist. This means that the parent-child relationship no longer exists, the parent no longer gets to raise that child, the parent usually has no right to visit or talk with that child, uh, the parent uh, no longer has to pay child support, the parent is removed from the child's birth certificate, the child can be adopted without that parent's permission. So as you can see, there are a lot of um, prohibitions once a parental right has been terminated and therefore it is uh, why the courts take it very seriously and um, e equal it to a civil death penalty because it is a big thing to terminate a parent's rights. If you have questions about this topic or any other family topic or if you have found this video to be helpful, uh, please like it. If you know someone who can use this information, please share it. And as always, I would like to thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time.